We are excited to present the new functionality added to EEVX 2.1 release, primarily the distributed vault solution. This new architecture enables you to plan and deploy your XDM server in a central location, together with the master vault, while also deployment of multiple localized satellite vaults around the globe for better end client performance. In addition to the architectural description, we will review the procedure to actually deploy a distributed vault into your environment. This procedure is fully supported by the built-in workflow of the Configuration Manager. We will also briefly discuss the new functionality added to the Diagnostic Dashboard Utility to support Distributed Vault. Let's review the architecture of a Distributed Vault deployment. We have a central master XDM server, configured with license servers and all other optional enterprise resources such as LDAP, SMTP, and an Oracle database, for example. A master vault is recommended to be deployed on a dedicated host machine remotely from the master XDM server. Based on the location of the clients, we deploy satellite vaults close to the client's location. Clients using the local satellite vault will enjoy significant performance improvements during upload and download of design data as well as XDM library manage blocks. The remote master vault and each satellite vault is a node of the XDM server. After a successful deployment, you can use the configuration manager and the diagnostic dashboard utilities running on the master XDM server host machine to remotely configure, update, monitor and even undeploy each one of the nodes. This is a flow diagram of the workflow required to deploy a distributed vault. Once you finish the planning phase and the preparations, such as hardware and security certificate acquisition, you use the Mentor Installer to install XDM Server software on the targeted Master XDM Server host machine, and to install the XDM Server node software on each one of the node host machines. Then, use the Configuration Manager on the Master host machine to configure the master XDM server as well as to configure each one of the nodes. Now that you're done with the configuration, you should deploy an agent on the master host machine. The agent deployment process also generates bundles of configuration and essential files that are used during the deployment of the agents for each node. Manually copy each node bundle to the appropriate node and deploy the agent on each node. This will establish an XDM server network which will enable communication between the master XDM server and all the nodes for additional configuration and deployment actions, as well as diagnostics. Once you have the XDM server network established, you can conduct all utilities-based operations from the master host machine. For example, you can remotely test the configuration of all the nodes, and if the results are positive, you can start the deployment of the nodes and eventually the master XDM server. This is how the workflow looks like within the Configuration Manager. I define the strategy, Advanced Distributed XDM Server Deployment with Remote Master Vault, and click Next to configure the master XDM server and the installed services. Next, will guide me how to build the network with configuration of the nodes, deployment of an agent on every node and on the master XDM server. Later, I test and deploy the nodes. And finally, I deploy the master XDM server. The workflow takes me step by step through the process until a successful deployment of the distributed XDM server. Once complete, I use the web admin to configure the access to the satellite vaults of the users by setting XDM domains. The vault access configuration, together with the project level replication settings, will enable replication of the data only to those satellites that are required to store the data, while on the master vault, you will always have all the data.
In addition to the configuration manager utility, the diagnostic dashboard utility was also expanded to support the distributed vault. By now, you are familiar with the diagnostics of the master XDM server. In EEVX 2.1, we added a new network tab. Here, you get a list of all the nodes, and by selecting a node, you will get diagnostic results of the node right at your fingertips. This includes status, uptime, events, and even all the logs filtered and scanned by the log scanner widget and accessible locally for you together with the troubleshooter utility. Isn't it awesome? This was an overview of the distributed vault solution that we provided in EEVX 2.1. We review the architecture of the XDM server for distributed vault, including the master vault and the satellite nodes. We discuss the deployment workflow and presented the modification that were added to the configuration manager and the diagnostic dashboard utilities in order to support distributed vault.